After studying this module, you shall be able to know the background and concept of metacognitions. Uh, you will also learn the components of metacognitions which are there, identify the development and assessment of metacognition, evaluate the applications of metacognitions in other fields. So let's start this module by understanding the history of metacognition. The vitality of metacognitions in human experience has been well recognized. Rise of interest in this area is basically distinctly exhibited with the expansion of research and influence over other disciplines. Even before the inceptions of psychology with an independent discipline identity, the thought over metacognition is still pervaded. The knowledge of oneself as it was perceived earlier by uh, Descartes or Augustine was thought to be unique capacity of disembodied soul. Conversely, the growing body of modern literature viewed metacognition as a unique mental potential sustained by an experience specific to humans. This view strongly endorsed and carried out a considerable appeal. The deliberation over one's own perceptions, memory, thinking led to the early thinkers to believe that there existed a non-physical soul. Also that this, only spe this uh, embodiment is only specific to humans as animals, evidence also emerging from the fact that other primes, primates such as animals did not have language. The non-dualists also considered it to be a unique uh, cognitive capacity owing to its origin from the evolutionary process. The capacity to self-reflex was viewed to bear a strong adaptive value. This idea of perceptual continuity was well supported by multimodality functioning where one could listen to music and at the same time solve maths yet share a spotlight of attention. Another possible view to the paradox mentioned was that even if consciousness was united, still function and observation of function may not happen at the same psychological moment. In one moment, the function could occur and in the next, the appraisal may happen, making both the processes independent in time. The neuroscience also supported the co-occurrence of acting monitoring, regulating and evaluating own functions. The paradox of research in the area where attempts were directed to seek a theoretical solutions uh, was also postulated. Nelson in 1990 proposed that for consciousness to perform two functions simultaneously, it must exist at two levels, one at the object or doing level and other at the meta level of judging own functioning. The view was also endorsed and served as a foundation of phenomenon of metacognition. Now let's come to meaning and concept of metacognition. Metacognition basically refers to one's knowledge of own cognitive processes. The term metacognition connotes the uh, beyond, hence metacognition indicates to the process of going beyond our mere occurrence of cognitive processes and engaging onto the awareness, knowledge and regulation. Metacognition also operates at three levels. First is the metacognitive knowledge, regulation and experience. Metacognitive knowledge deals with knowing about own cognitive processes and have differentiated from metacognitive skills. The former is based on declarative knowledge acquired through the interactions with the environment and later is based on procedural knowledge dealing with modes of operations of cognitive activity. Skills differ uh, from knowledge in terms of being action based and knowledge only being awareness of cognitive activity. Conditional knowledge on the other hand uh, is basically metacognitive awarenesses. Similarly, metacognitive regulations relates to control and manipulation of cognitive capacities and metacognitive experiences refer to current state of cognitive affairs. All the three components prove imperative for higher order thinking. The phenomenon does go beyond mere thinking and think and about thinking to monitoring, control and regulation of thought. Expansion of research in this area of metacognition entails rationalizations 
and evaluations of one's own executive functions, regulating the information processing capacities. Traditionally, under the, uh, the umbrella of concept of metacognition, various related terms were included, such as metacognitive beliefs, metacognitive awareness, and feeling of knowledge, theory of mind, meta memory, which confused the distinctiveness of the domain. Some terms elaborated on more general forms of knowledge, whereas others dealt with, uh, with age specific processing. Some concepts are purely metacognitive, whereas others are cognitive and metacognitive as well as learning, thinking and etc. For instance, the idea of self-regulating was considered as secondary concept to metacognitions, whereas other researchers viewed it as subordinate to metacognition. Such kind of paradoxes has led to lack of functional unity in the concept of metacognition. Nelson's view of consciousness operating at object and meta level met then provided clarification to the idea. The actual cognitive processes at the meta level, the idea about the state of functional function level is conveyed to the meta level through series of regulating monitoring processes and the feedback from the meta level to the object level is transcended by the control processes the flow of information is bidirectional and postulates conscious consciousness to be pessimal and fragmentary consciousness or automatic metacognition extending the line of investigation to the fact that metacognition a conscious or more of automatic process the view that it is conscious process entails the involvement of higher order processing the other view represented metacognition to be less of conscious process and more of reflex action the automaticity is well uh, achieved when the process of ongoing almost turns into a good regulatory habit. Some evaluations then seem to push itself into the background of conscious experience, except in an uh, erroneous situations where entire process may get alarmed. Another perspective to the question added by Bandruda was metacognition to be a practice acquired through observational learning. It allowed metacognition to be less of a conscious and more of an automatic modeling process. Furthermore, whether conscious metacognitions or automatic metacognitions would be more self-regulatory will reflect a philosophical disagreement between self-determinism and externally regulated behavior, general or domain-specific metacognitions. The prime question to metacognition in education is whether it is general activity or a task specific process. General metacognition would be synchronized with teaching and would not transcend automatically. Conversely, domain specific metacognitions would require specific teaching pedagogy. More evidence is available for, for metacognitions to be domain specific and activity specific also. Recent studies have basically also given differences amongst metacognition of various domains. On the other hand, monitoring skills are taken to be general across domains. Developmental stages in metacognitions. Constant renewal of interest have been viewed in identifying the chronological development of metacognitions. Theory of mind is believed to be developed around three to five years of age, followed by meta memory and meta knowledge to develop and become an ongoing dynamic process. Metacognitive skills seem to emerge around 8 to 11 years and mature throughout. However, skill of planning may establish before then higher order skill of monitoring or evaluation. Conversely, the reports of early infancy show planning, monitoring um, and evaluations to also become apparent in the task of interest. Since, since acquisition of skill is, is a developmental process, Hence, a fixed timeline uh, is not identified out here. It is also essentially viewed in biopsychosocial context also. Uh, at the inspection level, metacognitive skills may appear to be domain specific, but later with maturity, it may operate in more generalized fashion. Now let's try and understand the different components of metacognitions out here. Cognitions versus metacognitions which are there. 
Metacognitions are basically the phenomena has been implicated to refer to series of uh, certain epistemological processes. Generally, it is conceived as a cognition of cognitions, uh, giving it a higher order thinking status. However, if cognitive acts involve perception, thinking, memory, metacognitive uh, acts relate to basically awareness, regulations and control of even one's own events. Uh, Flavel in 1978 had defined it as a knowledge that takes as its object to regulate any aspect of any cognitive endeavor. It has also been phrased that ability of an individual to adjust uh, their cognitive activities in order to promote more effective comprehensions. Metacognitions then emerges as an external higher orders spectator to the cognitive process yet being an internal part of it which is truly reflected to Comte's uh, paradox. Um, however, proficiency is basically in metacognitions can be defined or compensate for lacks in cognitive components. But high cognitive abilities cannot be, cannot fulfill the gap of uh, metacognition. Now let's come to metamemory. Metamemory basically refers to the introspective examinations of one's own memory contents facilitating judgment and discretions. Thus, meta-memory is not memory itself, but rather analysis, commentaries, appraisal of the memory index and learning. For instance, uh, when uh, Descartes engaged in famous uh, doubting meditations, musing about how his memories or perceptions could have been fulfilled or could have been different than they were or how he could have been mistaken about them. He was engaging in metacognitions out here. Such reflections was also highly prone to subjectivity. Since metamemory is primarily judgment and appraisal of the memory index, three basic judgments of uh, the form the core of metamemory research, feeling of knowing judgments, tip of the tongue judgments and judgment of learning. Next is the metacomprehensions. Metacomprehension, similarly, the concept of metacomprehensions entails cognitive appraisals of one's own comprehension abilities. A classical example would be a student reading a book and not understanding and yet negligent of the fact of not understanding the, uh, the text. Such lack of insight over the aspect of understanding and learning makes it purely mechanical. The emphasis of metacomprehension has been particularly on evaluations of one's own reading or speech comprehensions. Uh, many times in the classroom settings, it has been observed that a wide gap between the child's perception of knowing and his actual knowledge is there. Thus, the training of metacomprehensions strategies during the early school years become imperative for the success of learning. Problem solving. The attributes of decision making and problem solving encompasses most of the time of human life. It may be conceived as a cognitive act of choosing wisely amongst the available alternatives and also the ability to basically perceive and the question varied kind of perspectives which are there. Uh, this idea of divergent thinking is basically gets introduced with the problem solving behavior where moving beyond uh, the available heuristics and uh, algorithms helps in seeking different kind of innovative solutions of the problems out here. If the exploring pathways are different, the problem solving activities are different. So it entirely depends on the parameters which are there for clarity, for rationality, for um, coherence, expected success, etc. Meta reasoning is the next aspect which we would be addressing here. Reasoning is directed towards rationalizing a solution to a problem and meta reasoning is related to reasoning that generates such solutions or delivers into the problem. Uh, the term meta reasoning does not allow us to initially refer to reasoning of reasoning but rather reasoning at three levels. The reasoning level basically involves describing uh, the object and initiates a change in it. Lastly, the meta level process involves progress evaluations and outcome of reasoning level. Thus, processes in the reasoning level alter processes at the object level and process at the meta level uh, ramifies processes at the reasoning level. Thus, we can say uh, that meta level is thus engaged in generating plausible causes for reasoning level decisions influencing object level performance. It may also involve itself in attributing causes at object of reasoning level in case of reasoning failure. 
In totality, the meta uh, reasoning process will involve notion of self that control its reasoning choices, monitors the products and finally synergizes the self with the social context. Artificial intelligence, the field entails the study of design of intelligence, intelligence agents or developing human-like intelligence in machines and software. John McCarthy in 1955 coined the term and referred it to as the science and engineering of making intelligent machines. Since the time of inceptions itself, artificial intelligent researchers have been questioning to develop self-knowledge and introspection capacities in machines. On the other hand, McCarthy presented that for a machine to be intelligent, it must adequately declare its knowledge of the world and of itself. The, uh, uh, when we say that uh, he also correlates the knowledge of one's own knowledge of the world or the meta-knowledge and one's uh, own knowledge of oneself and behavior called the metacognitive knowledge. Nonetheless, both the views have been directed towards making machines intelligent enough so as to reflect and regulate the knowledge of uh, itself or oneself. Assessment of metacognitions. Metacognitions being a complex mental process encompasses series of cognitive phenomena, perhaps poses challenge in its evaluations. However, various techniques ranging from behavioral, psychometric or to neuropsychological have been used. Each of these techniques is surfaced with merits and demerits, suggesting no perfect technique, but rather an electric approach of assessment depending upon the components measured. For instance, questionnaires could be used to analyze the large group at once, but may not yield true responses. Similarly, interviews could have the benefit of uh, personal interactions and understanding of body knowledge or language, but it may not be provide time effective and prone to socially desirable responses. Another method of assessment which entails analysis of thinking allowed protocols could be an intrusive method yet subject to investigators bias. Neuropsychological measures of eye contact, eye movements analysis could yield reliable results but lose in, uh, on cost effectiveness. Looking at the variations in the metacognitive components to be uh, gauged and then select suitable assessment uh, measures ensuring least discrepancies amongst the scores and the task performance. With the advent of technology, another vital discretion is to choose among the offline or the online methods of assessment. The offline methods offers pre and post assessment of the task, whereas the online method reflects assessments during the task performance. Application of metacognitive models to other fields. It could be applied in social psychology. Recent developments in social psychology can be traced to the parallel uh, intensifications of cognitive and metacognitive field. Social perceptions and social cognition deals with identifications, interpretations, analysis of other behaviors and social situations. The mental processes of attribution, impression formations and cognitive fallacies of understanding an individual in social context entails the role of cognition in social world. Abnormal psychology. Uh, sourcing its origin from the cognitive revolutions, the role of metacognitive psychology has been increasingly identified in diagnosis and treatment of the psychological disorders. Woven in the cognitive uh, fabric, metacognition is basically in clinical field, focuses on the awareness of the cognitive set, detached from self and perceived as mental phenomena. Growing body of literature recognizing cognitive deficits such as attention, memory, visio motor activity, uh, planning, decision making, etc., in psychopathology such as depression, schizophrenia. The unawareness and irregulations of such uh, has fortified metacognitive roots in causation of such disorders. The uh, treatment based on metacognitive training focuses on bringing the cognitive biases and distortions at the forefront of consciousness, perhaps challenge psychosis. In case of learning disabilities, use of metacognitive strategies in enhancing learning and problem solving skills have also been suggested. 
educational psychology is another field where metacognition is to be uh, seen or reflected in the concepts such as metacognitive knowledge, division and organization of knowledge. Also designing of education pedagogy such as which are based on cognitive development, its appraisal has gained new, uh, newsworthy maturity. The influence of cognitive growth and experiential feedback in education is well reflected in recent pedagogy of computer based uh, cognitive tutoring programmed learning, etc. The idea of cognitive psychology, cognitive economy and metacognitive experiences has also been nevertheless absorbed by educationists to internalize the notions of co cognitive capacity and functioning in learning. The research in the area of learning, meta-memory, meta-reasoning has recently moved to a step ahead from the labs to the school settings. The idea of translational educational science where changes in education modalities resulting from research in the same and allied areas such as cognitive psychology and metacognition has been a contemporary breakthrough from uh, pedagogical rigidity. Recent trends have focused on metacognitive instructions to be embodied in teaching pedagogy for acquisition of metacognitive skills at an early stage or, or an early age only. Developmental psychology. Many of the developmental theories base their course on cognitive psychology or cognitive maturity. The landmarking conventional theories such as uh, Piaget's cognitive developmental and Vygotsky's moral developmental have been viewed physical development in the context of co cognitive growth. The cognitive Transitions characterize the developmental milestones and also establish norms to verify and co any cognitive delay. Social interactions are believed to depict um, any important influence on the development of metacognitive process. Uh, Interpsychological development basically also gives a very important factor out here. Initially, the significant others uh, led as proactive guide to the child. Later, the child becomes active and the parents invigilate and correct the child's behavior. Finally, the child takes the lead and the parents uh, emerge as supportive and sympathetic spectators. The theory of mind has also reflected the influence as the ability of the child and understand own and cognition of others. Cognitive neuroscience The term cognitive neuroscience was first suggested by George Miller uh, in late 1970s. The field uh, basically entails understanding the biological underpinnings uh, of cognitive faculties and its self-regulation. It attempts to assess the role of uh, brain in regulations of cognitive uh, and metacognitive functions. The domain also exhibits to explain cognitive science with evidence of neuropsychology. It stands as an interaction between neuroscience and cognitive science. It basically attempts to explore the neurobiological roots of metacognitive functions. Now, till now what we have done, let's understand with the inner form of a summary what all we had covered in this module. Metacognition can be conceived as higher order cognitions of cognition. It entails awareness, evaluations and management of own cognitions. The development of metacognition should be viewed in the biosocial context. Various psychometric and neurological methods such as MRI, PET scans, etc. are used for assessment of metacognitions. There are various components of metacognitions such as metamemory, metacomprehensions, problem solving, meta reasoning artificial intelligence etc which we had discussed in detail and uh, it is also the influence of metacognition that can be well observed with the fields which are also uh, using metacognitions like social psychology, abnormal psychology, cognitive neuroscience and educational psychology. We had also discussed about each and every uh, level at which these uh, different fields are using metacognitions in their interactive basis.